G'day guys, today I want to show you a system in Baccarat that you can use to actually make some money. So I'm pretty sure it's similar to what the professional gamblers are doing in Vegas in order to win their money. Um, and if it's, it's probably not this exact system, but I think it'd be very similar. Um, and I'll just, I'll get straight into it so I'm not wasting you guys' time. Basically, the idea of the system is that we should be looking at the previous results of Baccarat and then using those to decide our next decision. So if you're unfamiliar with the rules of Baccarat, essentially we get dealt two cards and we're trying to get the highest one digit number possible. So if we get dealt a king and a six, that's a 16. We drop the one out the front and that leaves you with just six. Um, and depending on you know whether you get a zero or an eight or a nine, that'll decide whether you get dealt another card or not. But we can actually decide whether we think the player or the banker is going to win any hand. So what I've done is I've made up a chart that looks at the last three results of the games. So if we have a look, we can actually decide what our next bet will be just off these. So for this game, you can see we've had banker, player, player. So if we go and have a look at the chart, that should tell us that our next bet should be on player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a $10 bet on player and we're going to deal. And we'll have a look. So we managed to get a 9 and that means the player wins. So after that, in order to decide our next hand, we refer back to the chart. And we see that if we get three players in a row, we should stay on the streak and see if we can go player again. So I'm going to put another $10 bet on player and we deal again. We get a 6 to the dealer's 5, dealer gets dealt another card, they get a 2, and we win again. Now, this is a good example for how this system works because it'll allow me to show you the second part of the system straight away. Essentially what we also do is we implement a betting scheme on our wins. So rather than doing the Martingale, because if you have a look at people's reviews of the Martingale, they, it's a horrible idea to keep doubling your bet in order to win just your original bet amount. But increasing our bets on our wins means that we can use our previous winnings in order to win more without risking losing all our bankroll. So I choose to go with the Fibonacci system for increasing my bets, which if you don't know goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking the previous two numbers, adding them together, and that gives you your next number. So because We've done $10 bets. We went one, one. Now we go up to two. So we're gonna go up to a $20 bet. Now, the fi benefits of a Fibonacci system, um, here we go, so we'll just see. We got a six to the dealer seven, and we lost. So that's okay, but we lost, and that means we only lost the winnings of the previous hand. So we didn't actually lose any of our money. So you can see we're still sitting at 150. So we have a look back at the last three games and we have player, player, banker. And we have a look at the chart and I'll leave a link to the chart somewhere in the description so that you guys can find it. And that tells us that we should bet player once again. So we put 10, once we lose our bets, we go back to our original betting amount and we get a one to the dealer zero. Now we get an eight and the dealer stays on zero. Beautiful. So we win that one and we resume our Fibonacci scheme. So we've done one. Our next one is also a one and we go again. So we get a one to the dealer's eight. We want a high card. Come on. Come on. Oh no, the dealer's sorry. I forgot. If the dealer gets an eight, we don't get dealt another card, unfortunately. So we have a look now at the last three and we can see that the dealing pattern is very choppy. So it's gone banker, player, banker. So what we should do is we should pick the opposite. The chart tells us to pick the opposite. So we put another 10 on player. You go again, we get a seven to the dealer's nine and we lose that one. That's okay. Because what we do is we keep doing this, the, doing these betting schemes, referring to the chart and just trying and trying and trying and hoping that we manage to get on a win streak. So we have player, banker, banker, we go banker and deal again. And beautiful, we get a nine. So. This is one of the benefits, as I was going to say last time, is using a Fibonacci sequence. Each time that we increase our bet, we're actually going to be risking some of the money we won previously, but not all of it. 
See, if we were using a martingale system, we lost that one, that's unfortunate, but we go banker again, the chart tells us to go banker, so we go again. We get a seven to their three, they get a six. Beautiful. So, but as I was saying, the benefit of a Fibonacci system is that rather than doubling it each time and risking all of your winnings, as you go up in bet amounts, you actually get to keep some of your original winnings each time. So we won one there, it's gone banker, player, banker. So now it's telling us to go player. So we'll place our second bet of 10 and we get an eight to the dealer's nine and unfortunately we lose. But you can see we're still hovering around our original 150. But if we can manage to get that win streak, you'll notice how quick our balance will climb. So we get one win on the banker, beautiful. We do our second bet of the same amount and they, we lose that one. Now that's fine. Because this whole time we're only risking our $10 bets. And just because Baccarat has one of the lowest house edges, we should be able to hover around even until we hit one of these winning streaks. So there we go, we get a tie. Now if a tie does occur, simply just rebet. Pretend it didn't happen. So it's, rather than looking at the last three, we look at the last four. And we can see it's banker, banker, player, so we just rebet on the banker. Just pretty much ignore your ties. So here we go, we get a zero and they get a three, and we lose that one. Now that's fine. So we look back at the chart, we get banker, player, player, and we'll just play again. Now I'm, I'm essentially going to keep doing this until we do manage to hit a win streak. So we don't get that one, but there are a couple other things that you can do in order to increase your odds. So we'll just go with the player, player, banker. So we go player again. That's what the chart tells us to do. But as I was saying, there's a couple things you can do to increase your odds. And if you're a professional gambler, you're most certainly going to do these, especially if you're in a real casino, not an online one, because using basically it's you got to use the casino's money against them. And the trick in order to do that, so we'll go player again, that's what the chart tells us. But in order to use the casino's money against them, you have to have a look at, you know, whether, whether or not they're giving you comps, whether or not they're giving you paybacks for your losses, or I've got a tie so we'll just rebet. But essentially, you want to try and use any advantage that they will give you and use it against them. So there was a good example where there was a, a Baccarat table that was paying you back 10% of your losses or something. So if you walked in with, you know, a million dollars and then lost your million dollars, you would get paid back a hundred thousand dollars. And then what he would do is he would do this at one casino, go ahead and lose, get a hundred thousand dollars, and then go to the next casino, and because he's got a pretty much a 50-50 chance of doubling his money, he would then win at the next casino, walk away with two million but he's actually got 2.1 million because of the extra 100,000 the original casino gave him. So that's how you have to be smart and try and use these casino bonuses against them. So online casinos, generally they'll give you some sort of sign up bonus or they'll give you no deposit bonuses or these other kinds of bonuses. We can see here like they have these 3,000 free spins and another prize here for weekly beginners. but. By using these and then using these to play a game such as Baccarat with an extremely low house edge, that's where you can actually start to use these bonuses to increase the odds. Now, and this is the thing, we don't actually have to win every single hand in order to be profitable. We just have to lower the house edge enough so that it becomes in our favor. So we'll go back to betting here. We had player, play, player, banker, banker. So the chart tells us to go banker. So we go again. And unfortunately, we lose. And now this is this is the heart of gambling, is that if you have a look at how professional gamblers will tell you, or what they say, is that, you know, how much can we turn this money into? They will give you either a definite number or they will say nothing. Because the idea is, is that we're going to continue playing until we manage to hit our goal or until we have nothing left to play with. Because if we have the chance to, you know, earn five times, ten times our money, we can lose that money three or four times in a row and still be at a profit on the fifth win. So we go again, we have banker, 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 player. So we'll go banker and bet again. But that's it, guys. There's really 
I, I could play here and I could show you that, you know, I, I'm a winner or a loser, but that's, that's the power of selective editing. Ed, editing. Wow, that's, that's hard to say. But the, the, the core of it is being able to play smart, making sure that you know what you're doing. And sorry, I, I say that and then proceed to go against the chart as per usual. But know what you're doing. Set a goal amount and then make sure you stick to it. Have a strategy, stick to it. Make sure you aren't letting greed get the better of you. So we're going to go back onto player here and we'll go again. And unfortunately we lose and that's fine because once again, this is gambling. There is always some risk to it. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that this is a million dollar system straight off the bat. That's, that's, you know, dishonest of me and I don't want to lie to you guys. I want to give you guys good information so that you can start taking back some of the money from these guys because we all know they have way too much. So that's it. Um, I hope that you guys found the, the video useful. I hope that you guys can use it and I hope that it improves your guys' game in the future. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work for me today. It has worked for me in the past, but I hope that you know you guys can use it a little bit better and hopefully I'll hear from you guys in the comments and descriptions down below that where you know you guys have managed to use these or similar systems to walk out a winner. Uh, if you do have any improvements or other advice for other people then make sure you do chuck it in the comments down below because I'm always eager to learn. I just information is power so the more information we have against these casinos the better odds that we have um if you enjoyed it just chuck a like chuck a subscribe i'm really thankful for you guys to watch for the end it really does huge things to the algorithm and helps me push this knowledge a bit further out so thank you guys um other than that i hope that you guys have fun good luck out there cheers